I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration. We're sailing through the Kingdom of Tonga and have spent the past couple of weeks diving into local life here on the island of Namuka. It's one of those raw places filled with beautiful souls that makes us never want to leave. <laughs> yep. But the sea is calling and we must go. Look at that sunrise. You. It is a beautiful morning. Beautiful day. We're going to take off from Namuka, heading to, honestly, I don't know the name of the little island. It's a little tiny blip that is uninhabited as are 140 some odd islands here in Tonga. And lucky, lucky. Lucky Lucky, it's called Lucky Lucky. So lucky. <laughs> yeah, this is happening. So here's the route. We're starting down here, obviously in Namuka. We're coming out and up past the blind rollers, which should definitely be exciting. Through the deep water to this super narrow pass where we're going to work our way in and anchor somewhere here in sand. And this is the satellite view. <laughs> Look at that. Yuck. <laughs> it looks a little sketchy, but it's going to be fun. Oh, and we have a, uh, a crew member, a stowaway, whatever you want to call it, joining us. She should be here shortly. Here they are. Hey, Yo! Good morning! Day for it. Yeah. <laughs> right, we forgot your laundry. We went around the corner. Oh, oh the no! Whoa. Veggies from the garden, coconuts, drinking, <laughs> sheets for the sleeping, and Dior. Alright, for the fun. Oh, yeah. she's going kiting. You know. How long are you staying? One night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't know where she's going to end up. I don't know if I'm going for like five days or three weeks. So, you know. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Have a good time. Bonwash! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. I haven't been on a on a sailing boat in one. <laughs> on course and we only have like eight knots of wind. It's gonna be slow going, but hopefully we can sail. Big fish time. Big fish. Okay, how about a little history here? We are sailing away from Namuka, and off in the distance is Tofua, which is the volcano island that Mutiny on the Bounty pretty much started at. Fantastic story, if you haven't read it, if you haven't seen the movie from, I don't know, the 60s or something. I have decided to make for the island of Tofua in the hope of supplementing our supplies of food and water. By now, there are many natives about us, and by their manner, we do not expect our welcome to last much longer. And geez, what a, just a beautiful day. It's just absolutely stunning. Perfect wind, perfect sea state. 
Yeah, I'm in heaven. This is heaven. Door. Someone really lost their cool. <laughs> what a bar! <laughs> uh, that was close. We had to run back here. We were like, oh, what's that? Run back. Cool. Man, it was, yeah, we almost nailed it. Good job, honey. What's our speed? Uh, we're doing about seven and a half knots. Nice. Seven and a half to eight. Wow. Okay. Beam reach, 13 to 15 knots a win. We're about to go from 200 feet to 2,000 feet. Catch fish, maybe. And then straight back into 200 feet. Yeah. The rollers, the waves could pick up. We could catch the fish. Who knows? Woo. Woo. Okay. Why have you uh, hopped on board? What are you doing? Where are you going? I don't know. They actually kidnapped me. God damn it. I, no. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I came here at my own will. <laughs> Basically, I'm just catching a free ride. Better than the ferry. Plus, and, you know, the winds are a bit of fun. <laughs> so where are you uh, headed I'm, to? I'm heading to a friend's place up north um, and up by here to go learn how to kite board. Woo woo! Woo woo! Because I've been meaning to. Covid can't do anything else. Yeah, it's Covid. Why not learn something brand new? Woo! In true sailboat fashion, everything happened at once. We came over that spot where it went from like 2,000 feet to 100 feet. It got all the way down to 20 feet. Nowhere on the chart was this marked. Dior runs forward. She's like, yeah, it's about 15 feet deep. Nikki's like, fish on over here. Yeah, fish on. Oh, baby. <laughs> Whoa. He was a really big one. That. Oh. <laughs> Dog two if tuna. you cut that bit out of the frame, it looks like a huge fish. <laughs> yeah! Wow. Holy crap. That's a dinner. Yeah, it's a good And I'm here, like, fire on the engine, looking everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Love it. It's like the roller coaster of sailing. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. Stick our noses up there. See how it looks. It's terrifying. We're just gonna bust a Yui. <laughs> a very tight Yui. Or just have to like full throttle reverse. Let's not psych ourselves out before we get there. such a good day already I feel a little bit guilty even going snorkeling to like look for any sort of wildlife like really you've already had a pretty spectacular day and you still want more yes yes indeed I do <laughs> yeah that was that. <laughs> look it's just sitting upside down in the water Perfect job. <laughs> it's one that Anne could be. Look, that is just how we do things aboard Curiosity, okay? This is like the perfect bay watch. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> A little shark. Yeah. Two right there. Stop! No, sorry. There are just some things in life you cannot unsee, and I just 
finally got that song out of my head. But speaking of sharks and remote locations, this is a good time to tell you about today's sponsor, Surfshark, because, well, a VPN is a big part of what allows us to operate digitally from anywhere around the world. Surfshark is an app and web browser extension that lets us change our IP address and virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock content and websites that, well, we couldn't access otherwise, which means we can avoid geo restrictions on websites like Netflix, payment services like Finmo, and get around YouTube live streaming blocks in certain countries. Yeah, we've gotten around the system. For example, Jason's brother just recommended we watch the movie Rudderless on Amazon Prime, but it's not available in Tonga. So we go over to Surfshark, change our IP address to the USA, and voila, we were able to download it no problem. And I use the clean web feature all the time because it not only encrypts our online data, but it serves as our ad blocker so we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. It's an invaluable tool for us, and right now if you use our discount code WINS, you get 83% off plus three extra months for free. And the best part is Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not sure if it's for you, there's no risk to try it out. I will make sure and put a link down in the description box below. The discoveries are, are being had left and right. Dior's already found a perfectly good hat. Y-M-C-A. <laughs> she doesn't know that song. No, she doesn't. Yeah, I do. She's too young for that. That was a fad. It was. Yeah, that's the wiring probably for the... Yeah. I think somebody already stripped the batteries out of it. Yep. Yeah, probably. Fad. Fish attraction device. Now, garbage. Garbage. Wow, they really feasted out. Wow, yeah. no kidding. Wow. That's Look at all the uh, local fishermen coming and camping. They left their blanket. Just in case. What we have here are remnants of sea urchin. That's what all of this is, right? And these are baby. Our baby giant clams, which is really pretty sad, unfortunately, because. They are endangered species in a lot of places, and probably here too. Not to mention that they're um, aggregate spawners, mm -hmm. so they need a lot of them to fertilize, because like one shoots the eggs and then one fertilizes, and if there's not enough in one area, they they can't fertilize the eggs, they can't reproduce. Which is why it's like if you go hunting them and you take them all, then they really have no chance. So you can wipe out an entire population in little to no time. So even a small village can decimate a giant clam population. Unfortunately, ooh, and this was a big one, look at this one. They can live to be pretty old. So the thing is, by the time you see the giant ones, they've survived a very long time. So this one was a good junior. Oh, so sad. Check it out. You know you want to look. Do you see your reflection? Do you like it? Look how handsome you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's gonna be stunning. Hey, need the handicap. Oh. Do I need a cam? Yeah. Look at it. Oof. Nice. That's like karate kid stuff. Yeah. Okay, green flash, green okay. flash, green flash. Just no. <laughs> it's done. Gone. <laughs> Stupid camera setup. <laughs> it's still gonna be pretty. Oh, it's still beautiful. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is lovely dogfish tuna. Dogfish. Yummy. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to realize that. 
dog. <laughs> <laughs> the yummy dog fish. I was like, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> dog fish. <laughs> Dude, what's dog fish? Oh, dog fish. Oh. You never know. We have to call it. <laughs> That's right. Everyone does it. <laughs> dog tooth. Mm. Good. That's good. What a day. Under that boom creaking is a bit annoying, but aside from that, it's a gorgeous day. Oh, it feels good to be out here sailing again. Everything melts away out here stress, anxiety. It's good. Except for that squeaking. <laughs> Got some salty, dried out lines, so that's why it sounds like. of having an island girl on the boat. Plenty of coconuts. Thanks, Bjorn. Nicely done. Ta -da. I haven't been here for years. I used to live in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice long beach to walk on. Yeah. Nothing today. Nothing. It's Monday, they're all back to work. <laughs> but we're almost there. That's the good side. Sailing vessel, sailing vessel in front of Ulella. Hello, hello. This is Glenn Sneak Lifer, right on. Uh, this is Jason on Curiosity. Go ahead. Hey guys, go one four. One four. Hey, how you doing? Good. Beautiful day. Can't can't complain about a thing. Yeah, man, you couldn't have had a nicer uh, trip up in that small breeze and nice calm seas. It looks absolutely stunning out there. Seriously, totally beautiful sail today. Hi, Zalek. You're here at your destination. Yeah. You're going to be a kiteboarding queen in no time. Yeah, as I said. Give it two years, I'll be on the world circuit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hold you to that. <laughs> Please don't. Yep. Uh, I'll put Instagram handle right here. There we go. My name is... Uh, <laughs> is... Dior. Dior. At Dior. One, two, Dior three. fails. <laughs> www.diorkfaceplantsyetagain.com No. It is like full on. Look at that. We literally just dingy to shore to have dinner with friends and don't you know, we get here and then we look out and there is a massive pod of dolphins just going nuts and feasting right out next to our boat. 
It's so cool to see him. It's so frustrating that I'm like, I should be on my bow right now. To Rennie. Quick stop at customs to check in and then off to the airport we go. And of course, if you've ever wanted to not blend in, just ride a couple of very tiny electric bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're gonna be talking about us for a while. Did you see those Palangis riding those tiny bikes? Not exactly a common sight around here. Most people don't ride bicycles at all, much less little teeny tiny ones like this that are electric and <laughs> new people new faces because you know nobody coming in and then of course being palangi or white on top of that so really I mean we might as well wear like a green dragon costume or something because sticking out like sore thumbs all set with customs got our paperwork to them and basically the deal is we can cruise anywhere in Hapai but when we're ready to leave we have to come back within 24 hours so we can get the clearance to go back to Baba. That's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. That's, the plan. that's it. Yeah. The end. <laughs> Let's go to the airport. Next up. <laughs> Big day on the Big Town. at that legit fire station. Yo. Decided we should stop by and say hello to the police department too, just because we do stick out like sore thumbs and especially because we're on a boat and COVID and nobody's supposed to be here. So it's best to just check in with the police let them know who we are, how long we're gonna be here, all that kind of stuff. Super nice, they were happy we checked in and now we're free to go, but the weather is turning really rainy, so I don't know that we're gonna do a lot of exploring today. Rain. Rain. Okay, I called and we thought we'd have to go to the airport, but turns out the airline has a little like mini office here and we can pick up our package here instead of going all the way to the airport. So the bikes were kind of overkill for this tiny town. It's still fun. Right here? Perfect. Two months. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. I don't want to be caught up. I need to sign anything. You know, it's me. Okay, good. <laughs> Unboxing right when you pick it up. Exactly. But it's a big deal because. You want to get the better camera? Oh, good call. It's gonna be yeah. Big. yeah, yeah, it's gonna be big. Hold it's on. Gonna be big. Okay. Ooh, it's raining. This is the nicest, most expensive computer I have ever purchased in my life. I don't know if I should just leave it in here because it's raining so much. Mm. Maybe it'll probably fit in my backpack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe find a cafe and then. Yeah. Jeez. It's yeah. pouring. 
first sign in since 11, 18, 19. So November. Yeah, 19. 2019, we are the first yachts here. Boat name. Historical moment. <laughs> Don't mess it up. <laughs> oh, that looks wonderful. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looks beautiful. Homemade veggie burger here with pumpkin pele, which is the local spinach and other something, whatever some, it was there. Whatever yeah. was in the garden. Yeah. I can't remember. It, it, it looks it looks beautiful. Lovely. And fresh breadfruit fresh. Oh man. Well. Obviously, it's a very rainy day, which was also not predicted. We did our bureaucracy, we got our package, and we scored a really awesome lunch. That burger was fantastic. But we're gonna head back to the boat and try to collect some of this oh, water. The camera's getting soaked. Yeah, gotta go. <laughs> uh, yep, recording. Oh, how's your saving? Like, oh my God. <sighs> Just be honest, Never. be honest you are. Never again. Don't do it. Whatever you do, don't come on this boat. <laughs> Lost soul, singing mate. A righty that's, that's always happy to find a lefty. I almost had to do a mutiny. That was blueberry smoothies, now I'm gonna have blueberry seeds in my teeth. I was thinking I was just gonna grab my bananas and my fins <laughs> and go. <laughs> Baby shark. Mama shark, the da 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 da